welcome back to my channel so I just filmed a video deep cleaning my kitchen so I am wearing the same clothes now it's time to make me something to eat but if you guys follow me on Instagram I posted a picture of how I make my tofu scramble so um, I did get some requests to do a video and show you guys how I do it so yeah I'll go ahead and do that but let me turn the camera around and show you guys what all you'll need okay everyone so i'll show you guys what you'll need and then show you guys how i put it together as far as cooking it so um i just use a little bit of salt some black pepper a little bit of garlic powder and then in the end i'll put some chunky salsa on there i got this one from trader joe's you'll also need a whole tomato or a half depending on you know how much you want to eat but right here i chopped up a whole tomato um, and some purple onion. I also used about two handfuls of spinach. Now this is the way I buy my spinach now you guys because I found out that it seems to be a little bit more fresher to me when I get it in the bag. Now the other bag you know where it's pre-packaged it doesn't seem like it's as fresh but this one is very fresh and then I'm going to be using this earth balance butter and of course here's my spinach i already washed it off so this is about two handfuls and then as far as the tofu this is um the organic tofu from house foods i got this one from trader joe's and this was my first time actually buying tofu and this one you can get it um firm or extra firm and I think there's another one, but this one is firm. But when I buy this again, I'm actually going to get it extra firm because I found out when you're making tofu, you kind of want it to be extra firm. And if anyone is wondering what tofu tastes like, it's really hard to tell you guys. It just, the texture of it is similar to an egg, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's very spongy, but anyway. So let's go ahead and put this together and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay guys, so while I'm waiting on my pan to heat because I am going to be using this butter in this pan here, I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of my tofu off and I'll show you guys how much I use. I use about this much, hope you guys can see about this much and I lay it on this napkin here and I know you guys can't see because of the light but I'm not really doing anything I'm just pressing out some of the excess water that's in here so that's what I'm doing I'm just pressing this and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it off to the side because I won't be using that right now so now let me get some butter here and how much butter to use you guys i'm not a professional cook so i don't really measure things i would say maybe a spoonful maybe this much okay so you just want to obviously coat the bottom of your pan All right, guys, so now you can kind of see the butter is cooking a little bit. So you want to go ahead and add your spinach. And if and I know you guys have cooked spinach before. It doesn't really cook to nothing. So that's why I'm using so much because I might even um, eat the rest of it for later. So all I'm doing at this point, you guys, is just letting this cook down some. And then we'll add the other ingredients in here. So I will come back after this has cooked down some. Okay, everyone, so this is what we are working with right now. As you can see, that did not, it doesn't even look like a lot of spinach. Okay, so now we want to add our onions in. Now, I like to add my onions in at the last, kind of the last minute because I don't want the onions to burn. So at this point, though, we can go ahead and add them in since this has cooked down some. So 
Let's go ahead and put those in. And if you don't want to add any seasonings to this, that's perfectly fine. However you want to do it is up to you. I just don't like for my onions to overcook. So I just keep stirring in it. Okay, now we can go ahead and add in the tofu, you guys. So we're gonna bring it over there. And what I like to do is basically we're just crumbling it up. So you see, you can kind of see that it is the, cons the same consistency as an egg. But it is an egg, of course. <laughs> so you just crumble it up, just like this. Okay. And at this point, you're just gonna keep stirring in it just to cook it. And overall, this takes probably about 15, maybe 20 minutes. I know the lighting isn't too well. Let me see if I turn this off. Is that better? So I like to let this cook, you guys, for about five minutes. And I just keep stirring in it so my onions don't burn. Okay, everyone so at this point it hasn't quite been five minutes yet but we can go ahead and add the tomatoes and let them roast a little bit okay and then at this point you can add a little bit of your salt or no salt the pepper and the garlic powder. And now, at this point, you're just gonna keep stirring it up, you guys. Everything looks really good. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. So all in all, it took me about 15, 20 minutes to put this together, which is very easy. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do decide to try it, then let me know. And let me know what you think about it. So here's my plate here. And you guys, it is so delicious with a hash brown and of course I got some fruit on the side. Sorry you guys, my phone cut off. But anyway, so this is the salsa that I was telling you guys about and it's really good with that and with that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.